Okay, here's a few things we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about the ADA, the uh, MDT project, really what's happening there, and about our ADA compliance corners. And I use the word compliance carefully because they tell me it is, I don't know. Talk a little bit about what we're doing up on Airport Road. I encourage everybody to get involved in the cleanup red watch that will be occurring tomorrow and the next day. I have to talk about bears, turkeys, and a recent meeting I had with the Fish, Wildlife, and Parks. We'll talk a little bit about resort tax and where it comes from. We'll have the chief to talk briefly about our community oriented policing and some of the impacts that has been on our community. A little bit about our public works department and some of the things we're getting ready to wear. We actually think that they come. <laughs> and a few of my longer term objectives for Red Lodge. And that's what we're going to be talking about today and anything you want to talk about, which is even more important. To begin with, I talk about ADA compliant quarters. Uh, yesterday, when Facebook lit up with the little quarters that they're putting in, they finally got around to pouring for concrete, which only took about eight or ten weeks. But when they finally got around to pouring concrete, uh, we finally have a little curbs built right in the middle of our ADA compliant corner. Uh, when we originally looked at this project, the corners were to be a transition between the walk and the street. They were to be nice and smoothly rounded corners with a little uh, indentations there to tell people where the, which direction to go and those type of things. Now we find we have curbs built right in the middle of our corner. Yeah, but know what we're talking about. I've got yeah, we got pictures if you want to see the pictures. Um, it creates two problems in my opinion. Problem one it creates, and you know, this winter when we're plowing, that will be a real difficult challenge to plow those corners. And one of the requirements we have with our contract with MDT is to keep our walk clear and our corners clear. So I didn't know that it creates a real trip hazard most of the people who are visiting the Red Lodge, particularly on the weekends when we have big crowds here, uh, the trip hazard is going to be an issue we're going to have to deal with. You know, uh, they're beating up the garbage containers, the bare resistant containers, we now call, we used to call bare fruit containers to prove that wasn't right. We know it's bare resistant, kind of, until the big bear gets on it and does PPR and it pops open. Uh, what we're asking for the public to do have a container that will not properly fasten, please let us know. We will get you a better container. It may take a few weeks now because we we're really backed up. We went with the Fish Wildlife Department a week ago. We talked about the turkey population in Red Lodge. When I met with them back, I think it was probably March or April, they assured me the turkey could migrate out of town when it got to work. Because of the winter we had, they did not expect a big catch. They were right about one thing. The turkey did migrate out of town, but the hatch was big again. And if you look around with all the little turkeys running around. So anyway, please, the answer is please don't feed the turkeys, don't feed the bears. $45, but it's going to be three Saturday consecutive Saturdays. The first uh, first phase is going to be on civics. We're going to go back to the Constitution. I got a class on the sheep wolf and sheep dog. You'll find it interesting. I want to teach. Uh, we're going to have Joel Todd actually go over the Constitution because there's a lot of misnomers about the Constitution. A lot of people forgot the very document that we're to be guided by. The second hour is going to be on Montana law and your right to stay in your ground stuff, all those things to try to educate you. And then in the afternoon, we're going to have the fire department's going to talk about uh, the, the uh, Good Samaritan Law and, and how you can act and you're compelled to act and, and to, to help the first aid and people that are injured. And then I'm going to talk about threats. I'm going to talk about how to improve your security type of thing. So that's just day one. 
The second week is going to be on basically police officer 101, fire and emergency service 101, victimology. We're going to talk about how to become better witnesses and be less the victim. Uh, and also crime scenes, traffic crashes, all those kind of things. And then the last weekend will be a hands-on, a little defensive tactics. We're going to get you uh, CPR certified, first aid. And then in the afternoon, uh, Rob Baston and the NRA guys are going to team up with law enforcement instructors, and we're going to do some firearm safety. So that's what you get out of it.